Here we go. Another shocking display of disrespect towards cops. This isn't from two days ago. This is from yesterday. Brand new video of NYPD officers being drenched with buckets of water. It's the latest clip surfacing this week as officers are being attacked by citizens. And this morning... An update. At least one suspect allegedly linked to the incident in Brooklyn has been arrested, and our next guest is calling on Mayor de Blasio to take some responsibility. I want to bring in West Miami Police Chief Nelson Andrew. Chief, your reaction to what's happening in this city? Good morning, Brian. It's incredible. Not uh, the, the lack of respect, the restraint being shown by the officers is amazing, but this has to stop. When does the buckets of water uh, become more than that. They become the bricks, bottles, and so forth. Um, and then you hear the crowds cheering in the background. That's unacceptable, completely uh, unacceptable. And, and when they sully one uniform, whether it's knocking off one of your hats or throwing water on you, they sully all of your uniforms. The disrespect can ripple across the country. Absolutely. This is starting in New York, and fortunately, it's been uh, limited to that. But uh, I can see this going on and becoming a trend nationwide, and it has to stop. Uh, we have to nip this in the bud. So Mayor de Blasio sees the urgency. Let's see what he had to say in a tweet. Thank you to New York's finest for their speed and professionalism in this arrest, because it was three arrests yesterday. We're the safest big city in America. Thanks to the tireless efforts of the NYPD officers, we stand with them today in all ways. Is that enough? No, that's not enough. Uh, the mayor has been uh, known to speak uh, harsh words uh, at the police department. Uh, I, I understand he does not have the uh, respect uh, of the officers, and he needs to, to come out a little bit more forceful than that. Uh, he can help put an end to this trend. Chief, we know in New York City it began to turn around when they did the broken windows program, where every little crime was going to be punished. We we're going to straighten it out from the bottom up. Then that was pulled back. Stop and frisk, a proactive way to stop gun violence. That was pulled back. And now we see officers, maybe in some act in some ways, over overzealous in some incidents. Now they're all afraid to act because it's going to destroy them personally and professionally. How do we stop this trend while still being responsible? Yeah, the officers, I, I don't blame them because they're, they're fearing the repercussions that get come down from City Hall. Uh, unlike uh, our mayor in West Miami and in, in most cities that are constantly uh, uh, speaking well of the officers, thanking them for their hard work and, right. their, and the job that they do, uh, this is something that we're not seeing from Mayor de Blasio. So we, I understand, too, uh, we had some uh, police officers here. They, they do not back the way the officers walked away meekly. They do not back the way like, letting these guys get away with it because they got to go back to that neighborhood the next day, and if they show a little bit of weakness, uh, they're going to pay the price big time. So uh, in terms of police work, those two rookies in particular are being called to task and put on desk duty. Are they right? Uh, yes, they should have taken some action. Uh, again, uh, they walked away fearing what may have come down the pike later on, but that some action should have been taken on the part of those officers right, right there when that was going on. Right. If they feel the politicians have their back, it'll be worth it. Uh, but right now, just a lot of people are saying, I was going to be a cop. I don't think so. I don't like this new trend. That's why mayors uh, and Americans have to step up. This has got to be a wake-up call. Chief Nelson, thanks so much. Chief Nelson, Andrew, thanks so much. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it.